This question is basically just, do you know the circle equation? So to start off, the general version um, of the circle equation is usually written as x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And I know it's a little confusing because they're using k as well. They're just kind of using it as a random letter. When we use it in the kind of normal generic version of a circle, we're referring to the center um, as hk. Let's put this down here. HK is the center and R is the radius. So let's line up the one we were given here with the generic formula. So that's X plus 5 squared plus Y minus 5 squared and that's equal to 4. So what do we know about this circle? We know that its center is going to be uh, negative 5, 5 is the center and more importantly for us, the radius is two. The radius is two. So how did that come about? We have to notice that the radius in the kind of like formula is squared. But we're always gonna have a number for the radius, or I guess almost always, because we don't have one in the second part of this, but we're usually going to have a number for the radius. And so the squaring is going to kind of disappear, right? We're gonna just square whatever we have Comparing that to the other side where we have x minus h squared and that just becomes x plus 5 squared because that square is too messy. We don't want it to kind of uh, break things apart. We want to keep it as a squared term. So the if we needed to make an equation, right, it would really just be that r squared is 4 and we would take the square root of both sides and we would get r is 2. So that is the radius of circle A. They tell us the radius of circle B is two times the radius of circle A. So let's get actually a new kind of thing here. And so the circle B would be x plus five squared plus y minus five squared. And twice two is four. So four squared, because we have to square that again, is going to be uh, 16. So what is the value of K? It is 16. Um, there's a lot of little places where we could go wrong here, but like I said at the beginning, this question is really just testing, do you know how to read an equation of a circle? So that is absolutely something we need for the current version of the SAT, the new version of the SAT. It is a formula that is worth memorizing, and as long as you have it memorized, you're going to be able to answer most circle questions pretty easily.